Tim Beckley, Jalaí, Silabor. Anyway, today's video is not going to be about dogs. We're not drawing dogs. Probably we'll do that in another episode. But today we're going to be talking about drawing clothing, drawing folds and how to just simplify it and make it easy now there's other different tutorials on youtube that go in depth into drawing clothes drawing folding even leave the names of the foldings you can check uh modern day james he has a really fantastic video about that but in this video we're just going to simplify everything simplify the whole structure of the clothes so we don't have to really cramp the entire names of the folds because when you're drawing an image or working on a client's piece you really can't start thinking about the name of the fold that you're drawing you just want to understand how to simplify it and then render it to the best of your ability so we're just going to watch donna take us through her process of drawing clothing in photoshop all right, so today we're going to be looking at the work of TB Choi. She's a really fantastic artist. And when it comes to just drawing characters and drawing fools, I really love looking at her work because she just knows how to simplify the essential parts of the clothing, the essential parts of all the clothes, and then just render it according to how the forms of the character is turning. This is uh, the first image of TB that we're going to look at. And now for this one i'm going to suggest we i'm going to reduce the opacity so i can draw above it and pretty much just explain what's going on in this image now a lot of her images are really uh simplified she has a really simplified style to her work and that really just helps us understand because when we're drawing our clothing when we're drawing our drapery i don't believe that we're just going to be drawing t-shirts and pants all by themselves there's going to be characters inside so if we have really stylized characters we're going to end up with stylized clothing so we really need to understand how to stylize our drapery and design the uh, folds so first thing we need to understand is uh pinch actually there's two things uh pinch and a stretch pinch is when say you have an elbow this happens a lot with the elbow and when the cloth comes down here you to get a pinch here and when you have clothing come clothing coming down here and pinching right here it will create all these drapery lines across this entire page and what happens when we have a pinch on this side is the opposite side is actually getting stretched so you see how when it pinches here here it gets stretched if it's pinching here here it's getting stretched or however the cloth is moving across the person's arm so you always want to be contrasting your uh drapery contrasting your folds using this pinch principle so whatever you have a pinch there's always going to be a stretch on the opposite side so let's take a look at her work and see how she's doing this hi there sorry to interrupt you here but i just wanted to tell you about the sponsor of this video skillshare yeah remember them the online community that offers membership to young artists like yourself and the guy that's making this video skillshare really wants you to make 2020 a year where you explore new skills get creative and experience growth in your creative journey that's why they're offering the first 500 people to sign up two free months of premium membership do, do. i need to get myself in order with that you can gain access to different classes ranging from learning color to drawing dynamic figures and pencil portraits and you can also learn from your favorite artists by taking their classes that you can't find anywhere else for free actually the guy making this video yeah he's taking one class right now yeah it's a drawing class for drawing better portraits yeah i saw i saw him taking the class last night yeah what's amazing is you can start the classes stop and continue whenever you like not like my college classes <laughs> so sign up now for free and claim your spots before all the seats are taken links in the description down below so first off let's understand what's going on underneath uh the character so you can see she has this arm coming in like this so it'll probably go this way and go this way and you have the shoulder right here and go that way so uh as you can see let me take this underneath that actually so we'll see what's going on as you can see all the folds that she has made are actually all the folds are actually going across 
where the cloth is meeting with the uh, body and is pinching. So because the, the cloth is touching right here, our cloth is touching right here at the shoulder, it's actually there, it's causing a pinch right here. So once the cloth is pinching here, it starts to create our drapery lines that go towards the direction of where the pinch is so because our, our shoulder is going this way and we have our pinch here it's going to go like this just across where the shoulder is and then everything just keeps going down this way now because we have this pinch here and this pinch here we have we're having a stretch on this side and it's a short sleeve so it's going to cut off right here that's what it's doing here so you really want to simplify your drapery you don't want to have something like this you really want to have just a few lines to kind of show you the direction where the cloth is turning and if you see that's what she has done just using a couple of lines and she's also doing the same thing with the body you can see how these lines are going right this way across where the waistline is and then because all this is just free cloth it just falls down and follows the direction of where uh the body the great falling following gravity and for following the direction of the body because this part of the body is still going around so we have these lines going this way and the rest of the cloth is just falling down to gravity same thing goes with the leg right here is where our pinch is due to the uh yeah due to that so we have our pinch right here and it's going to create lines going this way now another thing you always want to have when you're drawing designing your drapery designing your uh, folds is you want to have kind of a zigzag pattern going across so since you have this coming this way your next lines will probably be going this way you don't want to have the same lines just going in the same way it's okay it will just keep looking like you have all these lines just going in the same direction all the way down no you want to have lines that go this way and then maybe your next one will go this way this is just how the body works so you always you're always counterbalancing something you don't just have everything just going on parallel you're always counterbalancing so you need to do the same thing with your uh drapery and folds too so if you have lines coming this way you balance it out and put some more lines going this way and the other way and that way too so after creating your pinch here you can go ahead and do some more lines here create some more pinches here and create some more pinches around where the knees are going to be bent but because the character is standing straight you really won't have a lot of creases around this area so you always want to keep in mind what the character is doing what the body is doing underneath the cloth and then you follow the direction follow the gesture of the body as you can see this leg is going this way the character is trying to turn that way so if the character is going this way and his leg is here the character is turning this way you know that the fold is going to go this way it's going against where that character is turning higher clothing and folds all the folds all the lines are just following the direction where the character is throwing her hands so her hands are going this way out of her body and she has her clothing line she has her drapery just following the same direction and then also thinking about how gravity is going to affect this part of the clothing when it's going downwards so first off you can see these folds are just going this way across and then because this part of the cloth is free and this one as well and the character is actually turning this way slightly she's turning this way slightly the cloth is actually going the other direction so because she's going this way the cloth will go this way now you can learn this more if you are uh 
studying animation they always talk about this a lot i used to read a couple of books back in the day uh on on animation and i found this principle i can't remember what it's called exactly it's something about secondary something secondary animation also i can't remember but it's when you're animating uh the clothes of a character they're always going the opposite direction of where the character is pushing to so that's exactly what is happening here because she's going this way the clothes is going the other way and gravity is always also still trying to pull it down so you have this part of the cloth that's just pointing downwards that's just going downwards because of gravity and all the folds are just going this way so this will have this is how something like that will look you have your character's hands that shoulders character hand going this way and then you want to uh, use black so first off I always love to start with just drawing in where I have my paint and then I'll kind of start going in and just rendering where uh, I want to have my cloth and if it's really tight I can follow the body of the character but if it's loose you can just freestyle and just go ahead and draw the shape of the cloth if it has a big sleeve you can draw a bigger sleeve and then drag it back remember our pinch is right here so here is stretched and we also have a stretch here as well but when it gets to this part it's going to start getting pinched again so you can do something like this but if it's a smaller sleeve you're probably going to go with something like this and then put it back here even when it comes to simplified characters, this uh, mindset always works and even works way more because now you can actually get around, get around just using a couple of lines to just signify the drapery and then using shapes to kind of mold whatever you're doing into the shape that you're talking about. And as I mentioned earlier, you always want to counterbalance. You can see how she's doing that right here. Even with the shadow, she's counterbalancing her shapes that she's doing with the clothing with the folds always going in a zigzag motion because that's how the body is actually set up you don't want to have your folds going in the same direction so you always need to keep this in mind keep this zigzag pattern even with your folds and then for a simplified style even when you're doing a more realistic style you can always uh, think about simplifying your lines using less lines it's always easier to read when your clothing, when your folds have less lines than usual. If it's if you have a lot of lines just moving all around the image, it will really distract the viewer from understanding the shape that you're trying to portray, the gesture you're trying to portray with your uh, silhouettes, with your um, drapery. So it's just good to have just a few lines to guide the viewers eye that's all i have for you guys today hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something from this video uh if you did just remember to hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below with questions you want and suggestions and just leave a comment down below saying hi donna this is donna's first time on this channel so let's welcome her to this channel say hi to her down in the comment section and then subscribe to my youtube channel if this is your first time seeing my face on your screen uh subscribe to the channel We'll see you guys in the next episode. You did roll up. You go to the bop, it's much better. Guys, you don't want to start here. Do this, do this, do this. Why are you best now? Ha <laughs> ha